Hello, Bills again, Bills MMO Haven. Today we're going to go over how to uh, configure XVM. You must already have this mod installed, if not, check out my previous video on how to install it. So let's get started. You already have uh, XVM installed, you want to go to the editor. Uh, I already have a link shortcut here. Now, this is the XVM mod configure. Really simple. You can make a brand new config or load the one of somebody else's that you already did. For today, we're just going to load mine that comes in my mod pack. So you're going to open it. You need to open it, and the location of it is C, Games, World of Tanks, Res Mods, XVM, XVM.XC and hit open now you can see it loaded up things uh, here changed it these are all you know my settings so we'll go for a little rundown common settings obviously game version mod update enable player statistics enable statistics and user windows things of those nature just enable all these check boxes pretty common pretty simple uh, on the login screen skip the intro anything you put a checkbox in that will change it you can change your fonts and your color patterns for the players uh, in the hangar you can show XVM enable the widgets all kinds of features all you gotta do is check the box you're gonna have to take the time to sit down and go through it you want a customized game XVM and the team here have given you all the tools to make the game your own as much as possible. Anyhow, 90% uh, of you guys will all want to be going down just to uh, where we at here. I think it's the hit log is a common one. You'll want to turn that on. And then uh, how many lines do you want it to show? And another popular one would be the mini map feature. You know, enable that. It'll show you last. You can do centering for the RD, a little square. You know, change the lines, have the radar. All these features are right here. Some of these features are in the XVM.XC file, and you will have to open it with Notepad. That will sadly be a whole different video. All of the common features and most basic that you can change and that you know of and that people do change are right here in this editor. Uh, so you don't really need to worry about it. You've, you've got the text of a stock vehicle and uh, vulnerable, you know, are they fully upgraded or not. Player panels, you can change all that. The loading before the game. trying to find the one that's like pretty much most common just the markers itself here it is my bad this is the one that you'll want to change the most of because you'll be seeing it all the time my markers you can see they're just set up pretty pretty plain I got an icon the type of tank and the guy's name and then this is all these settings are for an ally alive and normal now if I had an ally dead you would change this and you know sometimes they'll change whatever settings mine's pretty basic I don't I didn't get real fruity with it some of these guys they've taken a lot of time and added a lot of features into this um, but uh, like I said anytime you want to make a change make sure these are corresponding to what you want the person is he alive is he normal or are you hitting alt if you're hitting alt you want to take off the normal and alt is extended and, you know, obviously, is he dead? Is he an enemy? Is You just got to make sure this is gray to correspond with what he wanted to be like. Damage text is another popular one. You know, whatever you write here is what it'll say. In between the blow up, you just replace that. 
and then you would just save it and it will ask you to overwrite the one you had which go ahead you've made changes uh, so give it a save and then go run world of tanks and see if you like it tweak it some more or not the options yours here's the tools have fun with it as always questions comments concerns leave them